Hi again, I hope you've been doing well. I see a lot of comments from people that are having some difficulties with the tapes. They say that the tapes are not working. So I hope I can try to provide some clarifications and things that helped me with my experiences. So try some of the, of the things that I'm going to say and maybe it can help you. So there were two main things that I did before I started the tapes two main things that I did before I began the tapes. The first one was my pineal gland decalcification. The pineal gland is basically the third eye. That's, the, that's what we need to receive these messages that we get from the tapes. This new information, these visuals, a lot of them are responsible because of, we have a clear and effective powerful pineal gland. So what you can do is look at, if, you're, if you think, based on your research, that your pineal gland is too calcified, you need to find out how you can decalcify it. There's a few ways. One of the ways that I use is I avoid um, fluor fluoride toothpaste. There's also some audios, binaural beats that you can listen to that help with the decalcification process. These audios, I listen to it every day for one week before I began the tapes. It's like a seven minute audio. I could do something at the same time. I could like work or, or play video games while I'm listening to this audio. So if the tapes don't work for you, maybe it's because the pineal gland is too calcified. That's one reason. The second thing that I did before I began the tapes. Actually, this is part of the first tape. But there's other things we can do too, other audios that help with this, is hemisync. Hemisync is the synchronization of both hemispheres of the brain. It is scientifically proven that we do not have access in a normal state to all our brain. We don't have access to the right side of the brain. Hemisync helps us get access to the right side of the brain. So the first tape helps with that. And this is what you need to make sure you get right before you move on. In the first tape, you are supposed to create your own trigger, your own way to activate Hemisync anytime you want. It takes half a second to activate Hemisync. I could do it anytime. And, and you feel it. So you need to make sure you could activate Hemisync. You feel a difference. You feel the difference. You will know if you achieved Hemisync. You just know. So Hemisync in the first tape, we have a way to trigger it, find our own way to trigger it using the first tape. So the first tape is great. I do that first tape maybe twice a month, month just for refreshing, making sure that my trigger is still uh, powerful and, uh, and, and strong. So, so Hemisync, I activate it at the beginning of every tape. In the warm-up steps, I activate my Hemisync. Something else that you can try, very simple, if the tape isn't working for you, try a different position. If you're doing it lying down, try sitting down, or the opposite, or try a different location, and make sure that, bef and make sure that you are in a, in, a, in, a, in a room or in a place where you feel comfortable doing this tape. So another thing that you can try is different headphones. If your headphone, maybe your head, it's your headphones, it can be. I included a, a link, I will include a link of the headphones that I use in the description of this video, just in case you can help anyone. So look into either your position, try a different position of your body, or try different headphones. Something else, okay, at the beginning of every tape we have these preliminary steps, right? Like the resonant tuning, the affirmation, the resonant energy balloon getting into focus 10. You need to make sure that you feel each one of these steps before doing the next one. I regularly rewind the beginning of the tape if I feel that I need more time with resonant tuning or if, if I need more time building my resonant energy balloon. And most of the time, I need more time to get into focus 10. We have two or three minutes in the, in the, in the tape to reach focus 10. Usually that's not enough for me. So I have no problem rewinding 
some of the tape to make sure I get into the right state, state of mind to do the tapes. If you not, you don't do resonant energy, if you don't do resonant tuning right, you can't expect the tape to work. Another thing is that okay, if a tape doesn't work for you, you try it three times. If it didn't work for you, it's okay to move on. Not every tape is meant for for it to work with you. I have a tape or two that didn't work for me, even though I tried many times. Maybe it was just not the right time for me to do to get that level, to do that tape. So if a tape doesn't work for you after a few tries, there's no problem moving on. There's one more thing that I can share with you that may improve your experiences. Okay? So the magic is not the tapes. The magic is you. It's, it's not the tapes that are not working. It's you that's not working. The tape are just a... They make it easier to reach certain states. But, it, if it, but it's really up to you. You need to believe, to know deep down that you are meant for something incredible, that you have incredible powers, and you have this high sense of intuition. You just know you are meant for amazing things. You just know it's going to work. You know you can do it. This is the mentality to make it work. This is not, these tapes are not something that you just say, oh, hey, this looks interesting. I'm just going to try, give it a try, see what happens, and then complain why it doesn't work. That's not how it works. And it's deeper than belief. It's not just because, oh, I believe I can do it. I know I can do it. I know I am meant to do some powerful things. I don't need the tapes to prove that I can do it. I just need myself. So if you're approaching the tapes with any kind of hesitation or skepticism, it's not going to work. It won't work. I hope I was able to provide some clarity for the people that have some difficulties with the tapes. I shared the things that I believe can make a difference for your experience. If you have any more questions or any thoughts, please let me know in the comment below and I wish you an amazing experience. Good luck.